सो टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द रिमिशन ऑफ ड्यूटीज एंड टैक्सेस ऑन एक्सपोर्टेड प्रोडक्ट इन दिस शॉर्ट फॉर्म आर ओ डी टी पी स्कीम सो फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस वाई इन न्यूज एंड देन वाई दिस स्कीम एंड वट आर देशिक प्रोविजन इन दिस एंड हाउ एक्चुअली इट विल बेनिफिट द एक्सपोर्टर सो रिमेम्बर डेट वट एपन एक्चुअली दिस स्कीम इज लॉन्च एक्चुअली अनाउंस इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बट एक्चुअली लॉन्च ऑन जनवरी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड Currently notified on 17 August on the Public Information Bureau (PIB), and that's why this scheme is in news. So, firstly, we will discuss why this scheme. Actually, what is the need of this scheme? So, what happened that there is a merchandise export scheme, which is around I think 2013 scheme or 2012 scheme. Actually, in this scheme, what happened that actually a subsidy provided from the 2%. To seven percent, so two to seven percent subsidy will be provided by the government, whoever is the exporter, in the at least the five areas. So in the electronics areas, in the special uh, special economic zone, as I have seen that there is a special economic zone S C Z. So this has happened, and in which this subsidy will be provided, and this subsidy actually challenged by the United States of America on the basis of. subsidies and countervailing measures in which what said that the this export subsidy which is providing uh, to the government of india is not compliant with the wto norm and it is also harmful for us workers especially the steel pharma sector etc so this is challenged by the united states of america in march in march 2018 and what happened that the wto settlement body seated and ruled against in india so why this scheme was challenged because it is not compliant why it is not compliant that because whoever is the exporter if that country actually crosses the dollar 1000 us dollar per capita income then the country cannot provide subsidy to the exporter and currently i think yeah this actually this criteria has been fulfilled by india in 2017 itself and that's why us challenge and currently the around the 2227 us dollar or something like that us dollar is the per capita income and that's why us challenge and win the actually the case and wto settlement panel actually ruled against india and that's why what happened this actually created a vacuum and when this is happened and was ruled against wto panel actually ruled against india then in 2018 itself and 2020 the this scheme was announced and this actually heated the almost the dollar 7 billion so this this is that's why this is very very emerging and that's why this scheme has been launched remission of remission of duties and taxes on exported products so now we will discuss as i have told you why this scheme is launched why this scheme is needed because of this criteria and this is and india lost the case at the wto panel so now we will discuss what are the actually the main provision under this scheme and how it is significant for the exporter as you know in the various meeting our commerce minister actually pius goel has clearly said that in this year there is a target of export around the dollar 400 million so dollar 400 billion is the target in the fiscal year 2021 to 2021 means from the april 1st to march 31st april 1st is the first to march 31st and in the first quarter we have achieved the dollar 595 billion so which consists of april to june in this fiscal year so now the second quarter is going on so in the light of this statement if you look at this notification of this scheme is very very important so this scheme firstly comes under the ministry of commerce and industry this is the very important point so what is the aim main aim is basically to refund of duty taxes and levies all the three words are almost same there is negligible difference so this is very very important to export and the embedded central state and local duties irrespective of the duties which is either imposed by the central government state government or or local duty there are the some in the basically the kerala and uh, you know tamil nadu there are the actually power embedded in the local uh, uh, municipalities or especially the uh, panchayati raj to actually impose a duty so in such cases also there will be a refund refund of that 
ड्यूटीज विल बी डन टू दी एक्सपोर्टर मीन्स हाउ मच हाउ मच एक्चुअली डेट रिफंड मिनिमम इज दी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड मैक्सिमम इज दी फोर पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट सपोज इफ देर इज अ टेन परसेंट टैक्स देन इट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द क्वांटिटी the type of product which is actually exporting from india to any of these countries so if there is a 10% so in this between actually that refund will be done and to make india's export more competitive and boost the export of growth is the main aim of this rod e d t e p scheme so this is the very very important as i told you how much how much is very very important because it can be asked in examination so this is very very important another this is not applicable to all the products this is very very important but it applicable to all the sectors not applicable to all the products but applicable to all the sector sector means primary secondary and tertiary sector but if you talk about the products then 8500 8,555 products will be applicable, and the excluded area is basically the steel, pharma, chemicals, etc. So this has been excluded from this scheme, which is actually benefited in the merchandise export. So this is what is the worth means what is the budget for this scheme is the 12,400 crore rupees. Remember that rebate will have to be claimed as a percentage of flat on board value of export. so we will discuss in the next slot what is the flat on board so flat on board so remember that suppose if there is a any manufacturing company let's say here this is the manufacturing company it can be exclusive economy zone msme or anything and this is let's say uh, the any port so from here to here so this product should be go to from here to where and here whoever is the country which is actually taking the all the products until and unless that receive so this credit will not be provided to that actually the manufacturer which is from india and country of origin must be india so this is the very very important so this is the journey should be completed very very successfully and the receiver should receive uh, very carefully so this is very very important and uh, this is known as the flat on board so this credit will be applicable to those uh, manufacturer or whoever is the company irrespective of the size and remember that there is the no turnover requirement means in some cases you have find that there should be a 100 crore turnover 200 crore turnover 500 but in this scheme there is no turnover requirement so if you are even exporting the one product you are eligible for this scheme but remember that it completely depends on the quantity and the kind of product you are exporting suppose if you are exporting some valuable products then obviously government will provide you a more benefit and more actually the um, it might be maximum and if you are not providing which is not very important then it might be a minimum or let's say 1% 2% so this is very very important as i have told you it will depend on the value cap per unit of exported products rebates will be issued in the form of transferable duty credit or electronic scrip and another is the duty credit will be maintained and tracked through an electronic ledger so this is very very important electronic ledger means everything will be digitized and digital focus is is the here so that's why the electronic ledger will be deployed and that's why and that whatever is the duty credit which is transferring to the manufacturer or companies will be data will be data will be stored here and if any of the uh, if any of the claim either in the fraud form or if there is so through this electronic ledger can be identified and remember that same product if you are exporting that product will not come under this scheme so this is very very important so this is all about the remission of duties and taxes on exported products scheme so what is the summary of this video you can say this scheme comes under the ministry of commerce and uh, industry what is the main aim main aim is to basically refund the duty it is a central or uh, state or local so this is the refund and from refund from how much 0.5% to 4.3 and make india's export good actually competitive and boost the growth of export why this actually this scheme has came is not very important especially from the objective kind of examination 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस स्कीम थैंक यू गाइज होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो यू शुड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो